Well, my name is Johnny Stimson, and I'm um, from Dallas, Texas. Been playing music since I was just a little, little kid. And um, yeah, I went to school down there and studied finance and thought, okay, I'm gonna go you know, get this normal job. And then I was writing all these songs at the same time and decided to make uh, a career of that instead. And I'm pretty happy with that decision. It's been a good payoff. <laughs> well, I uh, think I got a guitar when I was like 10 years old. My dad's a big music guy. And um, he ended up sitting me down with a little bit of guitar and then at the piano and basically taking me through the entire Beatles catalog and just teaching me how to listen for chords and melodies and things and then just sit and play them. He's got like great ears, kind of like that. So he was a big influence on, and then that type of music is a big influence on how I write now. Um, but yeah, it was sort of learning the guitar first and trying to figure out Sweet Home Alabama and all this kind of stuff to just get it going. And then when I really sat at the piano with him to learn how to listen the right way, uh, that's when I was like, oh cool, you can write your own songs if you know the, the rules, sort of. <laughs> Um, well, so I had, a, I had a band in high school and I was kind of writing all this music and then we all went to different schools for college. And so I thought, well, I, I want to keep writing songs, but I didn't have the guys to back me up doing this rock and roll kind of thing. And um, I started writing a bunch of singer-songwriter type stuff where I was just singing and trying to tell a story with my guitar. And um, I was kind of playing gigs like that for a long time after school. For maybe a year I toured uh, that way, but uh, it's been a shift in the type of music, but that's where it, where it started, was learning from different singer-songwriters. And I was all really interested in telling a story from the beginning to the end inside of a song, and that's where the, where the writing was starting. I have been working with, with some new management, and um, that's kind of been a game changer for me, because I always have this vision that I'm a very strategic thinker, and like I studied business and everything. So I've been kind of thinking of things in a creative uh, sphere over here, and then a business mindset. And since this new management has come in, it's sort of helped me, you know, marry those two things and be and put them together as one. Like you're building a brand and you're making a product, and uh, sort of getting guidance from him on how to work some of those things. And then musically, um, I met the met these guys in this band of On Lava. and they've been helping, in addition to some other producers that I work with up here, but really helping kind of shape this is a direction that's Johnny Stimson's sound, you know, it's his own thing. And that's been a, a, a really unique thing for me because you write music when you first start and you just want to sound exactly like somebody else. And you want to be like, oh man, I got to sound like the Beatles or something something like that. But no one can sound like like the Beatles. You have to create your own thing. And they've been good, uh, I think in a, in a mentor sense where it's, you know, helping me find who am I and what's my direction and how, how do I translate that in the studio. and you know, give it to all these good people out here, let them listen to it. <laughs> Lately, I don't understand. I think I wrote it about a year ago or so, and um, it's been a long process because it's been a shift in the sound, and this is the first thing that I wanted to show. I have a lot of the new sound recorded and ready to go, but this was the first song that I really wanted to show people. This is kind of the new, the new deal. So I recorded it with Cheever and my friend Daniel Stringer uh, in the city up here, and we just got started getting excited about putting it out. So I came together with my management and a little bit of PR and a couple of people out in LA, and we, you know, strategized this whole release, and it just happened. Uh, a few weeks ago and it's been really fun because finally people are hearing what I've been wanting to show them and I've kind of had that song in my back pocket for a while and hadn't gotten to really, I mean my mom's heard it and things like that but nobody else so it's exciting for me to see people responding and enjoying enjoying that. Yeah. Well initially I just, um, the song Human Man, I, I just, I don't know where that phrase came from but I thought it was kind of funny and it looks, you know you've got human man, it sits right next to each other, it looks kind of funny but then I started thinking about that just as a sort of whimsical idea that there are lots of humans just walking around and they're all down there, you know, going to their jobs and things, but they, a lot of them are doing it in a very robotical kind of way, which I don't even think that's a word, but it's a word in my song. But a lot of people are just going about their, their lives and, and it sucks and the song, the theme sort of is that, you know, if, you, if you're feeling human and somebody else is feeling human, then you gotta stick together, whatever that uh, can translate to be, mean a lot of different things, but I think it's a lot about um, 
just not going through day to day and not really living because we're alive and there's a purpose and there's reason for all that, I think. Yeah, well, um, I worked with a director named Savi Medina. He's um, actually from Puerto Rico, and he came up here. I wanted to do the video in New York because I just I love it here. This is kind of home away from home for me. And I um, wanted to shoot it in New York, and we, I wanted to do some kind of post-apocalyptic thing because, like I said, I, I actually am just total geeked out in my real life. I like the sci-fi stuff, and uh, I wanted to do something kind of like that. And I spoke with a bunch of directors, Initially, I wanted to do some crazy idea about like some people trapped like in a post-apocalyptic robot world. They're in a human zoo kind of thing and have to do this mega escape. Uh, but I guess you have to be super famous and have a mega budget to do that. <laughs> so we um, we went and we did we came up with this treatment together, and uh, the story kind of centers on this girl. She uh, owns a radio shop, but there's you kind of learn at the very beginning of the video that the city is sort of overrun by something. You're not really sure some some post-apocalyptic thing is happening and she has to, she hears music outside and you hear at her radio shop, she's, it's all the music is canceled and it's a sad and terrible thing, but she hears music outside and it's me, I'm singing this song on the roof about what it's like to be human in, in this robotical world and uh, she starts running and this scary robot with light up eyes chases after her and everything and yeah, there's a little bit of a twist at, at the end, but I think it's kind of, it's sort of a classic story, but a funny take of it, on it now. <laughs> Don't you know that I'm a human man? And you are a human girl. Let's get together, can you feel it? Cause when you live in another body can well, you got to sing together. You got to sing together. I'm Johnny Stimson, and look for me on Last FM. You got to sing together.